250 cc's boys let's see if she thumps or not let's go ahead and get that carb off I know everybody has different preferences, but something I like to do on these before I buy them sometimes, or even before I start working on them, is just see if they're gonna start with some starting fluid. So a lot of people clean a carb to find out there's no spark or compression. I just shot a little in here. I should put the it on the jumper yesterday. You can hear it. That's our solenoid down there. So we'll put a little of this in here. It might take an extra hand because I'm gonna have to crank the, I might have to hit the fuel as well. Get on that solenoid if the battery's hot enough. And it is not. But basically what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna unbolt that. I'm gonna unscrew that, unscrew that over there. Pull this, pull this portion of the air box out of my way, the intake, pop that carb off take everything off of it we're gonna get it cleaned up we're also gonna have to bleed some brakes on this thing maybe end up getting a tire and stuff for it but i think we could probably ride it today uh let's go ahead and get after it a little bit here i'm gonna start by pulling the oh we gotta fix this exhaust got a big hole in it right there 250 cc's boys let's see if she thumps or not let's go ahead and get that carb off the drill lips or the drill the drill walkie Loosen up both these clamps. Pull that bad boy off. Make sure it's cleaned out before we put her back together. Oh, gnarly. There's no clamp on the carb. So here, check this out, guys. The clamp's there, but the bolt's missing. So we should be able to just punch this carburetor off like that. Now we got one going to this thermostat for some reason. Was it pump coolant through there to keep it warm? We might cap all that off, fellas. Fuel line. I'm gonna need both hands for this one. And there's your carburetor. It's got an electronic choke on it. She's filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. So we're gonna have to pre-clean this to some extent and I'm gonna figure out how in a second. As y'all can see, this thing's really gnarled up. <clears throat> Got a little bit of foamy degreaser. It's supposed to be electronic safe. It goes on your engine. For engines with plastic covers. So it won't harm plastic either. Let's get this baby lathered up, huh? And we'll give it the... And we'll come back. One try with the brush. We kind of tried to knock some of it off with it. Um, I'm going to take all these rubber hoses off and uh, do it one more time with the degreaser, and we should have the outside clean enough to get up in there. Some compressed air. And got one more spray on there. Look at that there. This is working, old son. Lay her down. Maybe I can get to that side a little better. It's running off the bottom a little too quick. Uh, so unfortunately there's less grease because I sprayed it with this and rubbed it with the thing so it doesn't stick to it as well. It kind of grabs the grease. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute, finish cleaning the outside and bust her open. It's not perfect, but we're off to a good start, guys. A lot of people don't think it's necessary to do that, but it totally is. And you might wanna find the cause of all of that grime. Must have been a leak somewhere for the whole carburetor to be covered like that, I would think. Well, we blasted it off, got it clean off to a good start. Now we're gonna open her up and see what she looks like. Here, I'll do it real quick. Quick draw. Stripped it. Stripped it. Stripped it. Last one always strips. Stripped it. All right. Dun, dun, dun. What we got here who not that bad it's a little chow in there doesn't look bad at all we're gonna get this thing taken apart cleaned up and out and uh, i'll show you if i find anything auspicious now, i've seen a lot of people clean a carburetor without taking out the air fuel screw or the fuel screw um 
and it can go on the side it could be on the side of the carburetor in the front or back as well and they say they cleaned it and they have issues well check it out guys here you go anybody hungry there's a little spring there there's another little piece in there it's completely gunked up look at here the sad thing about these is like coffee grounds in there the thing about these is they're hard to adjust once the machine is back once the carbs back on the machine so you really want to get this clean and proper and set before you put your carb back on so what i do to make sure i'm in the right spot is i try to seat it it didn't really want to because it was full of gunk so now we're going to get up in this diaphragm up here just these two screws it comes off there's a i'll show you in the spring so watch it when you bust the seal loose you don't want to blow compressed air into this carburetor without taking this off first. And it's because this will blow to smithereens and you'll have some big, you're going to have a bad time if that happens. So I prop this up like that so it doesn't lose its shape. You don't want to lay it on this rubber while you clean the carb. Look at all that crap in there, guys. Nice. All right, I believe she is all cleaned. And do a little bit of work on these busted hoses and uh, get us some of this new stuff rerouted and then get her put back on. So we had to slightly modify the old petcock because uh, it's all clogged up. So I just drilled it out and we're going to see if she's going to fire up. We got the jumper on her. Uh, as you can see here, needs a solenoid or something. Let's see here. We ain't got the air box on yet, but... Get down there too. And the monks down there and amongst them. she walks off on me it's a little bit lower idle now block right out there. we're gonna put the I'm gonna kill this thing all right we're gonna put this air tube on after I clean it out check the air filter clean out the air box I've got this coolant hose run back up here where it goes but I'm gonna like zip tie it it needs to be safe from this exhaust for sure. Um, and then I think we need to top the coolant off. See if we have a solenoid so we can get the electric start working with the key instead of me having to jump the solenoid. And we go ride it, see what it does. The only issue I could foresee is if we're going wide open throttle for too long of periods of time, maybe it needs that pulse pump to keep up, but I don't think so. We'll see. This overflow bottle looks pretty promising and crunchy. Just some leaves, I guess. I thought it was rough. No brakes, but let's torque it around. Let's see if it'll torque me around a little. Uh-oh, why did I look? That's not cool. Sweet. I don't think it died because the airbox came off, but maybe. We so we've got her to new solenoid, right? Yeah. We got the key start working. Ryan's putting a battery in it right now. We're gonna work on this intake for a second. Then we gotta put a muffler on it, I think. 
and we should be macaroni. And then it will breaks, you know. I feel sometimes with these, you got to go ride them a little bit, jostle them around, jostle up the air bubbles, and then you hit the brakes enough in a panic when they don't work, and then eventually they just kind of start working sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you knock it into a tree. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's way more work than you know. Well, Ryan said this was the first time he's seen that set up right there. ka -chow. So before me and you race, all I would do is come over here with the 8 mil, loosen those up. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, hit it, man. All right, let's go. One, two, three. All right. Fix the exhaust. She's good to go now. I had some rain gutter left over. Yeah. I had some old clothes. It's in forward, by the way. Skip it out. Get them pipes good and hot for a ride. <laughs> so we got a big hole in the exhaust. I was making something not too long ago and I decided I was gonna try and use some of that stuff and I never did. And it sat on my shelf the whole time. And now, oh, I end up freaking 14. Or what is that? Yeah. A vice grips. It's a vice grips team. Yeah. It's like, now I'm going to get the open end. We got the impact, the chrome socket, and we'll put the open end on it. Yeah. No, the needle cheetle nose. nose. Just wedge it in there. Yeah. You just want to jam it in. If you get it wedged real nicely, you don't even have to hold it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna peel this back off. Yeah, roll that up. <laughs> Jam mash it in there. Just weld those together. Make dude. a bracket. Yeah, done. I think that I'd rather mount it in the same spot because it's gonna blow heat on this radiator. But I think I would rather just mount it in this. I think this is gonna work, man. Look how much is bent right here. Like, even if it Here's restricts your, the flow uh, a little. Here's your gears or something. Yeah. See, it don't even have neutral. Just got it. One piece. <laughs> like that's gonna lower the price. Try and put it over that piece. See, that's what I'm saying. It'll be like that on this one too. It's just hard to tell. Yeah. Yank. This. So we're gonna rip out this uh, wicker. <laughs> this whole wicker pipe holder. Well, yeah. Right. Good luck. <coughs> <laughs> Oh, Ryan's doing the top end over there. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. Probably not, but she's, she's pretty gaped out. It just fall off situation. So, a new one. Good fit. Good fit. Yeah, that probably is what it is. Yeah, like that. That's fine. So, this thing just comes off. This one screws on. All right, new plug wire, new exhaust. Dude, that's much, much quieter. I like that. Oh, she gone. She gone, dudes. Riggedy, 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 riggedy. Oh. That's my e-brake. Oh. Now I ain't got reverse. Did you that use? Me reverse was gonna be my brake. Well, you don't hit the gas. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, I ain't got no brake. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get the 360 can out for this. This bitch is torque, dude. Yeah, this is fucking throwing rocks. We gotta adjust the reverse cable too. So basically what had happened was 
we've been fiddling with this slow fuel flow then we developed the leak it would never stop that's what the so ryan built a pet cock built one yeah <laughs> custom fab and it actually turns on and off get her down the road there's a copper washer down there we tried a little rvt look here boys look here he put the yellow lines on it that way buyer beware <laughs> is it going into the filter i feel like oh it don't have fuel in it no it does i checked the flow before i put the line on i feel like it ain't going to the filter because it's so low right here but i may be tripping all right let's see dun 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 oh i ain't gonna start it actually with our little exhaust situation i'll let that gas dry out all right guys so we're doing a full lift kit on this just to make it more of a crawler you take these old crusties put them on inside out no it don't go in the holes it goes in the squares we just got to use some washers yeah dude take it off and try and put it on there like that that'll be funny <laughs> put a bunch of washers on it. it's universal it shakes like hell let's look at that it's, yeah. and we got a spacer that way boys so fucking break these spindles dog <laughs> looky there so now we're on the hump with some back tires look at the flex on it though it's got some serious flex here put this tire next to it show them beforehand nice here show them this one look at that that's gonna make top speed a lot faster yeah look at the back wheels now. <laughs> the back, yeah <laughs> now we gotta find some back tires to get this look at that it's probably barely gonna ever tip again now we can turn it this is going to make our steering probably better different for sure better eh. oh dude we got it on a jack stand back here too that's why it's been tilting <laughs> that's always it has been doing that you're gonna lower it are you building a ricer yeah or a freaking dude look at that you're lucky i don't have any five gallon buckets because that's like tall as two of them at least yeah you know that's like six hands. Yeah, six hands. <laughs> the pony size. All right, so we pretty much got her handled. We're going to ride it here in a minute. We might want to charge this battery a little. We've been cranking it so much. That one should be good and hot. We had to make the pet cock. It's made. And uh, there's no reverse, no brakes. But other than that, it's good to go. Which one do you think is going to be faster, top speed? Mm, In the dirt out here. This one's yeah, that probably slowed it down a little bit. It's yeah. a lot of leverage we added to the front. <laughs> Which one do you think is going to be, to like, off the line, too? I feel like it's going to get it, too. Yeah. All right, big question. Which one is going to stop running first? On? Which one's going to give us the first problem? First problem. That one has oh, a fresh motor. One. You think? Yeah. You're like, I don't know what it's gonna be. You wanna check this chain while we're talking about it? Gap, it's at least we could lube her or something. He ain't got no reverse. Oh, does problems include Orion wrecking into a tree out there? Oh, damn, loose as hell. So we're gonna tighten the chain. See, it's already giving us problems, bro. Yeah. You are right. Orion was right, technically. Nope. It's already giving us problems. Battery's already low. The tire's already low. So we didn't do this because we're savages. We did it because that other tire, Orion aired it up twice while we're working today. It just keeps going low. Yeah. So we figured why not make it eight feet wide? So Definitely stupid. gonna fit. I have a feeling this one is gonna be good, you guys. Polaris 170 versus the Hammerhead 250. And uh, they're both clapped, so even Stevens. Let's go rip them around the woods and uh, do some drag racing on them. Do a little hill climbing, a little rock climbing, a little, uh, little of this, a little of that. Some of the sweet features on these two machines is this one has brakes um, and reverse. So that's a sweet feature. This one had brakes and had reverse, but it's a race bike now. So it's been converted to just full throttle hangage. We do have a kill switch. So... You can always hit that after the accelerator pedal sticks because oh, the cable's nice, yeah. eight feet long. And as far as the razor goes, these are sunglasses, guys. We fixed it. Okay. No worries about that. About to go hammer the trails and the woods and the creek a little bit. See which one of these bus first. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know exactly. Flattens out. Hey. Is that fuel? Come in. Are you leaking fuel, bro? Oh, Ryan. Hey, you're leaking something hard. You're leaking something hard. The coolant. It could be rainwater from when we were riding, but it was like... Spraying out. It doesn't smell like gas. If Oh, look, it's right here. This thermostat hose blew off. Oh, that little guy. Oh, okay. This is like a carb heater, I think. You didn't get your knife, do you? Oh, it ain't got pliers on it, huh? Yeah, that thing was blowing coolant out, bro. I was like, damn, I thought it was squirting gas. I was like, holy shit. It's on there? Yeah. What do you think? Dude, not bad. I mean, I wish it would keep going through the power. Oh, it's got one of them fucking moped cars on it. That's what... Oh. It's like a dirt bike. Oh. That would help a lot. Yeah, it's almost it's... like it's letting off the gas when you're trying to... Yeah, it's like a limiter. You hit a limiter instantly. Yeah. You beat me in the race on that, but it was like... This thing never even would have given me the power, it seemed like. Yeah. It pretty much is all bottom end. The carb is on Right? Big old slide. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that in a video on an exhaust. You gonna ride it somewhere? Hell yeah. Oh shit! try and go up it but i don't think so bros this ain't taking me up this thing what no way no way i can't believe this razor went up it guys or that thing he's in it tight over there dude i can't believe they both went up it Oh, she done for it. Oh, bonked my head. Fucking piped me, dudes. Oh, oh, no. Oh, shit, no way. <laughs>
Parker out already, fellas. We got to ensure that these things are running proper. He's, he decides he wants out now. Dude, that thing's pretty sick, bro. It is good. <laughs> you fucking know it. Yeah. Bro, that yeah. thing seriously gets it. Yeah, it needs some tendies, If it had some better tires on it, you can keep riding it. You're all muddy in that. I'm going to save this video. Dude, if it had some better tires on it in the back, <laughs> yeah. you'd have to gear it down, though. You can see how the mud's kind of robbing it, right? Yeah, dude, it just fucking stinks. Yeah, and it kind of bogs, too. Yeah. But they put taller tires in the back. That's pretty wild. That thing's running good, I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, dog. Fucking soaked. Oh, I know. Dude, I got one. The first time you went in, like, you committed so hard. Like, on the way in, you hit it. Dude, I, I, it splashed, like, this high. Dude, hell yeah. That's why the steering wheel falls off. No brakes. He barely wants to run. This bitch is like, fuck. Let's pull it over there. So the first one that gave us problems was this one because the little... That's like a carb heater, right? Yeah. In case you're riding it in the snow. Yeah. It Freezing. was shooting Hannah Freeze everywhere where you was doing those donuts, dude. <laughs> and now look, we get back and we done roasted the tires off of them. Right. Well guys, this hammerhead, the front tires made it cooler for sure. Try to yank the wheel out of your hands. Now I need some like eight inch rear spacers and we'll be good. It runs really good, got it, wasn't running. You've seen what we did. Give us a follow. Lots more coming. Now we got to battle with it in this old Razor 172. So maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be fun. Appreciate y'all. Give us a follow. Also check out Tech Explorers. I'm going to drop a link in the description. Our new YouTube channel for all our outdoor fun, guys. A new video is posting on there soon. Appreciate y'all.